Hey, plenty friends! Welcome back to another plenty video. I'm at Lowe's, and this location always has really, really good stuff. Usually, and it's still it's one right now. But usually in the morning, they put a lot of plants on clearance. I'm looking for plants on clearance. I want some goodies that I do not have in my collection. But if I see like a brand new plant, because Life Trends, aka also like Urban Jungle and Coastal Farm are pushing out lots of beautiful house plants in the big box stores. And one of the plants that I'm looking for is the Diffenbachia Cool Beauty from Coastal Farm. It is stunning, and also the Crocodile Diffenbachia. That one's really really cool too, also from Coastal Farm. So. Those are the plants that I'm looking for, and I'm super duper excited to go and take you guys along. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up to let me know. And yeah, I'm also might go ahead and buy some pesticides. Pesticides. Um, Captain Jack's. Usually this location has it. For some reason, my other loaves don't have it. Maybe they sell out pretty fast, but this one always has it. And I do have some plants that are getting spider mites, especially outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy some Captain Jack's and maybe some potting soil. I use my potting soil from Walmart, the Expert Gardener. I literally saw mushroom growing on my plants outside, and it's the same soil that I use from Walmart. It's really, really good. But I don't feel like going to Walmart. I might possibly. I'm gonna see if I find any good soils. If not, I always go get my, my OG one that I always get from Walmart, Expert Gardener. Letting y'all know it's some good stuff and it's affordable. It's like seven bucks a bag. So that's pretty good. And it's a good base. Also, if you're looking to like, if you amend your own soil, like you add orchid bark mix, which is like bark in it and big pieces of charcoal and perlite, or you just add your own perlite as well. It's pretty good too. So let's go ahead inside because it's hot in my car and I know it's cooler inside and look at some plants. Alrighty, so we're outside of the clearance section and not that many crazy stuff. I'm gonna show you the chart so you know what's up and the stuff. They have a lot of Jensinas. $22.98, so they're like $11.50 or something like that. And then they got a lot of like succulent arrangements, which is cute. 10 bucks. I like the planters. Some orchids, $21.98. Uh, what else do they have? <laughs> a little fiddle. Okay, that's not bad. It looks pretty healthy. Some Drancinas. That looks really overwatered. $22.98, so that's like $11.50. Poor little guy. And then a massive yucca. Another Drancina. These are always on clearance. I don't see the price, but we saw it. it was like $22.98. And then I saw this hanging basket. It's a pepperonia and it's for 10 bucks. It doesn't really, it doesn't look that bad. Just gotta clean it up. You can like chop it and place the pieces in the planter and like give it a good source of light and it'll do pretty good. I mean, this is not bad actually, hold on. It looks pretty good. And I told you, I want to buy a plant on clearance and kind of save it up. I'm in my nurturing mode. <laughs> this is a maybe. I, I actually do like this pepperoni. I always see it around. But I don't want to pay the 20 bucks. But this is not bad. Little sprinkles of irrigation. And then the Juancinas. Which is always a lot. And I think these are on clearance too. This ZZ looks like bad. If I can see the price, they're usually like $22.98. That is so sad. Okay, let's go inside. It's getting hot. Well, they actually have some plants in the of outside plants. I'm gonna show y'all. Okay. So I've never really seen a very irrigated mini lipstick plant. And this one looks really good. I mean, it's huge. And it's really very good. That's really good. I mean, it is getting a lot of light, so. This is a really cute try to scan to eye. It 
It always gives off like fair, which is super cute. And then they got some Brazil. And then sometimes you can find the Cardinal. I think that's what they call it. It's like a sport variation of a Brazil. And I believe it needs to be dark in the middle. But you gotta have like an eye for it. This is really pretty though. And I got a prayer plant. Look at that. Ooh, I just watered it. Really, really pretty. And then this one is cute too. Look at that. Looks very metallic, it's super cute. They got a lemon button friend and all of these small ones are $16.98. A little mini teddy bear vine. <laughs> so cute, usually find them a lot more fuller. But this is not bad. I like how they're watering it because like, it's hot y'all. It's like really, really hot outside and windy. And it's gonna dry out these plants pretty fast. But they look really, really good outside, especially that lipstick plant. It's getting a lot of light. And then it's getting its, you know, watering schedule, so it's gorgeous. Beautiful plant. And then, I think that's it on, like, pretty interesting stuff. I mean, they have this one, but every time I pick it up, it always drops leaves. I think it's a Graciela's. Super furry. And then, Orchid Cactus. And that's it. But they have some cool allocations inside. I first want to show you this different back here. It's so pretty, and I think it's $22.98. So, some bonsais, and alocasia. Look at that. $24.98. Some really, really pretty different bakias. $22.98 and then some little fiddles damn they're like so pretty this one's pretty oh I want it in a small form <laughs> but $22.98 I mean the coastal farm the trading tropicals is 20 bucks this is not that bad, but different backyards for me, like the only way they're going to live in my apartment is to need like a lot of light. Otherwise, they're just going to die. <gasps> this one's blooming. This one's so pretty. It almost looks like a, a platinum Miss Peace Lily. They got some shingles. Ravens. Moonlight Scandapses. There's always a bunch of those. Monstera Perus. Pretty. These are all $19.98. St uh, Silver Streak Potos. Some PVPs. I think Princess Philodendrons, but they don't look so very good. Ed. And then the new Alocasia. Well, this is a regular ship Alocasia. But they have this one too. Which is really nice. And that's honestly the thumbnail. So, so pretty. And it's really healthy too. But I don't know. 1998. Then some monsteras. Money trees. Sometimes you can find like some sport ones or burger money trees. Just really gotta like look to rue for the $35.98. And then I see some bromeliads. Look at this. 
I think Vermilias is so pretty. I don't know why, but it's just the care is a little bit tricky and scary. These look really good. These birds' nest ferns. These are for $14.98. Really cute. This is a Victoria bird's nest fern. Really pretty. These are kind of cute too. this other bird's nest fern so they have more alocasias like right over here look at that Curly orchid cactus. Nice and full. Usually they look super sparse. I feel like it's rotting because these like to be underwatered. This one looks really, really good. And then they have a green heartly philodendron. Like, look at that. It's so full. And then some golden potos. Look at this snake plant. I think it's called Sinletrica. And then a really cute pepperonia. Look at that. And then they got some calatheas. This is a really good ficus. Moonlight. Pretty sure it's called Moonlight. Some Scandapsis. $24.98. And then a smaller one. Some Life Trends. This is Urban Jungle. It's a little bit thirsty. The leaves are starting to like curl, right? $14.98. Beautiful ficus in the park. These are always so like intriguing to me. Like they're just so pretty, but they always die. And I know there's some like white irrigated ones, some pink ones, which are really, really pretty. But if I can barely keep this one alive, I'm kind of scared to try the other ones. And then they're also a little bit more expensive, but I only find them online. Oh, I see a ginger. Look at that. $22.98. This Himalaya is thirsty. And I think I can get it for clearance. Oh, I need to ask. Imagine if I do. I'm gonna try to ask. I might get her. It's really, really pretty. Zizi, a little baby philodendron. Look at this one. Cute monstera. Very pretty different back here. Look at this one. Silver Bands Maranta. 
Brazil, Neon Potos. <gasps> Shut up. $14.98. I forgot what how much is for if it's on clearance. Is it like seven bucks? I don't know. I already have a neon photos and they're pretty like fun and easy to propagate. <gasps> this reel is on clearance. I already have a reel though. I'm really happy they placed them inside because outside they're gonna get burnt from the sun. <laughs> I'm struggling to put it. I wonder if this one was on clearance. Wait. Oh, God damn it. Nice looking philodendron in the back. Is this one on? See, these should be on clearance, girl. Like, where's the techie? And it's not. I think I'll get a better chance on this one than the other one. This one looks a lot worse. <laughs> But they just need to get like a nice bottom water and I love this plant so I've been eyeballing this one. It's super super pretty so I might ask for this one. Golden Goddess Philodendron, look at this one. Super super beautiful. Love. crazy because this aglanema is still here it's been here for like oh no my bad it looked like it no is it this one from like uh, last month because i don't think this is a chinese evergreen silver bay i don't know i don't think so and i don't see one of them you know what maybe no it is it is one 2298 y'all these are so pretty they're so bright like it's a lot more brighter in person pretty cool snake plant 1798 limelight drancina Always gotta look at the ties because you never know when they put them on clearance. I don't see the taggy. <laughs> it's pretty though. I ended up placing mine with the other Master Gensena because they have the same care and it's in a big planter. So, and it's doing pretty good. Mother Queen Photos for $7.98. Super cute. They got some begonias. They're getting so much better. I like this massive Fetonia. Oof, like curly orchid cactus. So yeah, I remember the pepperoni that we saw outside. Well, it's not this one. This is a... I think it's called Bear Get a Teardrop. I believe. I believe. I don't know if I should get it though. The one that we saw outside. Like it doesn't look that bad and I don't have it. These pregonas are just so pretty. He is so fuzzy. See, it's this one. <laughs> this should be on clearance, Miss Girl. $24.98. It could be like 12 bucks. Still a little expensive, but it has a really, really nice planter. Ooh. Ay. Look at these snake plants. They're $12.98. That's a cute one. This is called Fernwood Sansevieria. I see a Mikeans. Sixteen ninety eight in a brandy. Sixteen ninety eight. I want this one for a clearance, <laughs> but I think it looks too good for it to be on clearance. I 
I don't know. I need to see who's in the register. Oh, it's a girl. Okay, maybe I have a chance. <laughs> Wait, so... Yeah, I'll get it for like 8.50. Alrighty, I'm gonna go outside and get the plants. And I'll tell you guys a little haul in the apartment. If not... Oh, look at this one. If not... If not in the car, then in the apartment. But... Yeah, they got some good stuff. Beautiful monstera. Hey, so I got some updates for y'all. And I couldn't find the receipt. I left it in the car, so I had to go downstairs. I'm a little bit out of breath, but I was gonna like, you know, usually I can just breathe it out, but I'm just too excited and I wanna show y'all. So the lady was super duper sweet. I noticed when it's like a girl, I hate saying this book. Well, not even just that, it doesn't matter what gender or whatever, it's just the vibes. Like, it depends how they are, the cashier, right? Um, bottom line, just be really, really nice. <laughs> Being nice goes a long way. And then on top of that, I don't know if I had any stuff on my teeth. I was eating birria. <laughs> on top of that, I, what else? I, you know, very reasonable. So I got really, really lucky. Um, the lady was super, super sweet. I got all those, I got three plants, y'all, and I got them for Clarence. So I'm really, really excited. I think getting plants for clearance is like the best feeling in the world. And, uh, well, my hair. I am using some really expensive products in my hair now, y'all. It's like Shibodo, something like that. And um, it is. it looks a little bit better, but I was in the car with all that AC. It made it a little bit crazy, but that's curly hair, hey? Anyways, sorry. So I ended up, she asked me if I wanted to donate two cents to building homes for heroes. That's cute. I didn't even hear what she said, honestly, because I was just so excited. <laughs> um, so two pennies. And, I, and she, asked, she asked me, and usually I say no because a lot of these big corporations, they use it for tax deductions and that's why they save a lot of money. Um, that's on that, right? But she blessed me, so I felt like doing a good thing too. And that's not bad, building homes for heroes, so it's kind of cute. Anyways, so... Uh, blah, 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 blah. The... Yes. Hold on, I gotta sneeze, y'all. I'm also drinking my cranberry. I am having a cranberry phase phase right now because like you know, it's really good for the girls, but I like how bitter it is and then but kind of sweet and like fruity. Me. And um what else? Do I have my scissors here? Those are kind of for the hair. Why aren't they my comments on? So we can trim off some bad leaves already, but we're gonna do some we're gonna take care of these today. So Yes, um, but yeah, I look very, it's really, really good. So here's this one. This was already marked down on clearance. It's a beautiful pepperoni, and I'm not quite sure. <gasps> Here it is. It's called the Pixie Light Pepperoni. Really, really cute name. I'm gonna have to memorize that. It was $20.98, but I got it for $10.49. So that's really good, you guys. That's, that's a good deal. That's a good deal. Because it don't look that bad, and this pepperoni is a pretty hearty. I do have one, and as long as it's getting enough light, It'll be happy. And one thing that I also noticed is they're okay. They prefer to dry out than being overwatered. It's kind of scary because this one was kind of loaded with water. I'm hoping they just, just watered it right. So we're going to trim off the dead, the damaged leaves, right? And then we're going to repot it to a new planter. And spray some rubbing alcohol on the foliage just to disinfect anything or like any, any bacteria, fungal, we don't know. Also, like any small bugs that I cannot see. I'm going to put it on a really, really good grow light. Hopefully, it will bounce back. It's a really, really pretty plant. I love how, like, the leaves, they almost look like stretch marks. It's just really, really pretty. I like it a lot. I really, really do. Very simple, but, like, there's detail in it if you really look through. And it is blooming, so it was kind of happy. They look red tails. You can't see it on my face. <laughs> it's a really, really pretty plant, and I'm super happy I got it for clearance. But, like I said, it was already marked down, so it's cool. Um, the other, excuse me, the other two plants that I got, I got this beautiful brandy. It was for $16.98, and then I'm going to pay $16.98, even though it's, 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 it's a reasonable price. So here it is. has a nice ceramic, we love live trends, um, live trends, if you can see the tag. It's beautiful, honestly. It just has a little bit of dead leaves. <laughs> And I, I've been wanting one, y'all. Like, I know I, I see them, but, like, I don't want to play too much for them because like, usually I kill them 
or usually they grow really really funky because they need something to climb on so yeah but i just really wanted it I, I just, the more i see it the more i love it right so i bit the bullet and i asked for it and she said yes she was really really sweet and i got it for 8.49 um so that's a really good deal i just gotta remove the foliage right and the the, the dead leaves and um it should look really really cute the other one that i think was pretty fair to get on clearance it was for 22.98 and i got it for 11.48 so here it is it's a hamalanea um i'm pretty sure that's what it's called I just, it has water right now. It's sitting on water. I'm basically bottom watering it. Once it perks back up nicely, I'm gonna go ahead and drain the excess water. It has to remove the dead leaves, the, the yellow leaves, and she would pounce, pounce. She would bounce back nicely. She was just thirsty. And I actually love, love, love the ceramic. I saw it in Easter, so I think they're still lingering around. I love life, urban jungles. Life trends is cute. They have cute stuff, but urban jungle is like such like, it's such an aesthetic it's such a vibe their planters are always top tier and they're always refreshing it like Christopher is doing it now they were not doing it back then but they're getting a little bit better now but urban jungle has been doing it from the get-go and they always go with the season and they, they i think they have the cutest planters um like i, I love urban jungle even like i think it's not my agbt ones or H i'm not gonna say the whole list but uh usually they do that too i just haven't seen it but it, they have really, really good stuff, the planters. And they also put out some plants that are usually new. So we love that. Really, really love this plant, you guys. I'm just so excited. Because I killed it, right? <laughs> the first time I got it. Um, and she did. But now I have been keeping this one. I also got this one for Clarence. I don't have the tag. But it was for 24. No, I paid full price. That's a lie. I paid full price for this one um i was scared that i was gonna kill it because i also got this one too and it died on me but it's already been like two months and she's been putting out nothing but new leaves and she's looking really good like look at that really really proud of her i'm so proud of her i love that it's not like cardboard like construction paper just so pretty I did underwater it, which is why it's a little bit of crispiness, but it was one day I forgot to water it and she was all like, like that one, all like down, right? But I gave it a good drink of water and she, now she's beautiful and she's still putting out new leaves. Uh, I guess make sure that I, I water it before it dries out. It's a little dry now, so it's time to water it. And it has a good source of light. I think light, I think I really, really, I don't know, to each their own, like I think everybody has their own opinions, right? But for me, I think with a lot of plants, the biggest thing ever is light. Like plants, plants need light. Like underwatering, just give it a go. Like they need the a good source of natural light or artificial light of the full spectrum, right? Not just like our like LED bulbs that we have like in our rooms. No, like they need like a good grow light, right? Um, that's what they use to bounce back. That's what they use to grow. That's what they use to like fight back. Um, diseases or like pests or whatever they have right they need a good source of light everything else is important too but i think light is key um so that's why whenever i buy plants i try to make sure that i can have a good source of light for it i have some plants that um that aren't, don't have a grill light but my plant room is pretty bright i have a lot of windows in my plant room and a lot of grill lights so a lot, I, I honestly got to rearrange my entire collection um, to see what needs to go. I have some plants that I, I kind of I need to get rid of. And usually the plants that I propagated that did not fail, that, that did not succeed, they kind of failed. So I need to like toss them away and mix and, you know, make space for the plants that are doing good. Like here's a begonia that I got like last month and she is still alive. I'm so surprised. I'm reusing it in this planter. I should have walked back. And i just love it like i honestly love begonias right now they're all doing really really good like look at that uh, hello i just dropped some soil she is gorgeous i love i, I always look oh, i just dirtied my calendar because I, I spread the i was trying to pick it up but i spread it like a like a chalk like frosting damn it eh. anyways so those are other puns my total came out 33 dollars flat so 
not bad. And this location, I always have the address in the description box below, but it's 7901 Garahan Road. Um, really, really good stuff. That one never disappoints. It was full plant on clearance. I did want to Walmart to get some groceries and buy some things that I needed, like a uh, pencil, but. <laughs> Excuse me. Also, some soil because I needed some soil for my. I need to repot some plants. Um, like that pepperoni needs to get repotted. The pixie lime. Needs to get, that's a really, really cute name, actually, because a lime is like green, right? And the pixie is like kind of cute and kind of fairy. That's like just a perfect name. Perfect name. So, um,. They did have some plants, but they're not, they're not like really, really good. And then the lady was just putting them on clearance, but there was something that I like really caught my eye. So yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed the little mini planty haul. We're going to go ahead and repot. Well, honestly, just a pixel line. We're going to go ahead and fix her. This is going to be pretty fast like within a minute. Taking off the dead foliage and then the hamulinea, just taking off the, the yellow leaves and giving it time to bounce back. So on a different video, I'll give you guys an update on how she is doing. Um, but yeah, I hope, I, I, I had a really good time at Lowe's. They had some really good plants. The the mini variegated lipstick plants was a really, really good one. That was extremely variegated. Like she was in her best life, and but nothing, like, why can't I talk right now? Nothing but new growth on her, honestly. Like there was so many new leaves because she, she's in a very bright spot. She's like shaded by getting bright and direct light in that greenhouse. She's outside. It's warm, so those roots are really, really happy. And then it's very humid outside, so I know she loves that too. And then it seems like she was all the plants were getting properly watered. So she's living her best life, and you can see it. She was doing amazing. So that's really, really cool. I that I that it's been a hot minute since I've seen a very nice mini variegated lipstick plant. That's how they're all supposed to look like, to be honest, right? But they don't really look like that. So yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead. And set everything up so we can go and do the repotting and a little bit of removing the dead foliage on the plants. Before I go ahead and end up setting everything up, you guys, I just noticed the Thai constellation is putting out a new leaf. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Oh my goodness. There's even this one, the belly etier, just putting out a new leaf. We ended up repotting her a while back and look at that. How exciting. Pinty lady looking cute. And then my fiddle, I was getting scared. Like I was like, girl, what is you doing? But look, there is new leaves coming through. Por fin, girl, it was taking forever. I think once um, this one puts out like three or four leaves, I'm gonna cut it like over here. And I'm gonna propagate this outside. It should probably get a lot faster in the warm, and warmth and humidity from outside. Um, and I want this to get bushy. I want it to branch out even more. Cause it's already kind of branched out. There's a leaf over here too, but She's like going through it, so. But I'm really, really happy with this one though. Same thing too, once it gets to like this height, I'm gonna cut it like over here, like from the far bottom, but by a node, you know, so it can branch out nicely. But that's so cute, the Thai constellation. Hey baby, thank you. Thank you, I'm so happy. It is dry, but I know that Thais like to stay dry. Um, they're more, I, I've heard, I've never had my Thai constellation get root wrap, but I've heard they are prone to root rot. Um, so you just gotta underwater her, right? But how fun, how fun. Beautiful, I'm on there, like. It just sounds like cardboard, I love it. I really do hope this angle is not weird. Y'all, this was like the most weirdest thing ever. Like, if you really saw how I held my phone. But it works, it works. I have you sitting on my chair in the bottom part. I couldn't find out scissors, so we're gonna use these <laughs> my boyfriend's beard scissors, which doesn't really care, honestly. But I got my rubbing alcohol diluted. We're gonna use that to um, disinfect these, um, not because of him, but just like, um, I don't know. I, I, I know it's always good to disinfect it. And like, also like when I'm cutting plant to plant, it's always smart to disinfect every session, I guess you can say. To be fair, this plant's really hard, okay? It's really hard, but I'm still gonna try to save it. Actually, so I was gonna repot the Hamalanea plant and this cute ceramic because this these kind of plants, y'all, they make your plants stay moist forever, depending also on the potty mix and everything else, but it's not porous right it's not terracotta so the, the moisture is not gonna get out and then these 
they also do the same thing, but I don't know, these just like really, and it only has one small hole. So it's gonna take forever to dry, like not in a bad way, it won't be rip rot, but um, cause there's a hole, you know, rip rot, there needs to be actual water sitting in the soil where the roots are, are sitting on. And it's for like a long period of time, which it will develop into rot, right? It's called rip rot. Um, it, it just makes the soil really, really moist, which is perfect for plants like these that have so many holes. This can even see. Girl, and I think it would look good over here. So we have your pot it in the, the hamulay is just gonna chill in that planter because I think it's perfect anyways, and it has a nice cash pot. We are gonna repot the pixie lime pepperoni and this planter. I know it's a lot smaller, but people say this is a bad thing. Girl, hear me out. A lot of plants, I bloom is a lot, okay? And a lot of the time, they don't really mind. And the plants that they're repotting a while back, they're actually they're in the restroom right now. They're doing really good right now. So I'll give you guys updates about that later on too, possibly in this video or the next video or the following video. I really want to do a plenty update video. I already did one, but so much is growing. Like there's so much going on in the plenty room. Like I want to show you everything. Like I'm pretty sure in Alia's collection too, everything is exploding and growth. So it's just that time. It's just that time. Long hours of natural light coming to the windows. It's naturally warm inside unless you put your AC to 68, which I usually do too, but it took too long and my light bulb came out almost $300. So, that's kind of a lot, that's kind of a lot. Well, it came out like 247, I'm being dramatic. It came out like 247, but it's still a lot. <laughs> these are all LED, they're not fluorescent. So these are kind of um, efficient. I do pay the light bulb to be fair, because I'm using all these grow lights. I don't put them on them. But um, yeah, I, the biggest thing is the AC. And also my dryer, which I don't want to get want to get into because I feel like I really want my channel to be focused on plants because I ramble so much about everything, everything, and it's just like kind of annoying. But mm. I used to always get the mocha one. This is vanilla. I love vanilla. Vanilla is so good. Mm-mm mm-mm mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Also, y'all, the mosquito bits has saved um the friction, the tension. Just kidding. Of my cousin and my, my boyfriend. Just kidding, they're pretty cool. But they were getting so annoyed of the fungus nuts. Like we would get out of work and eat, and they'll be like, um, like like doing this all the time and i felt so embarrassed and so bad um but that stuff works you guys like, i have it i hardly see a fungus now y'all saw on the camera like when i was showing the fiddle but um i hard i hardly don't see them so love that and i'm really consistent with the mosquito bits i only pour it on plants that stay moist for other time because mosquito bit mosquito fungus gnats that's what fungus gnats needs they need a um a planter that's moist consistently my thorium's putting out a new leaf. This one goes pretty slow, right? It's my first time getting some thorium. A little update, we got this like a long time ago, kind of. And it's putting out a new leaf. I love this planter. I did pay full price. I got it for like 20, it was like 20 bucks with tax, but so worth it. This and thorium is almost like a monster at all, but it's not. And it's just beautiful. It's like such a statement, like, hello. I need like a, a light source with it because you guys can even see. But really, really pretty. We're gonna make some holes in this planter, which is always kind of scary. Usually I like to use um, a knife, but we're gonna see what this. This is so much easier. I probably just jinxed it right now. Also, it's going to rain a lot on um, tomorrow, which I just love it when it rains. I love seeing the plants outside of the trees, the bushes. Um, get all that good water. It makes me really, really happy. Sometimes depending on the, on the wind, the plants in the balcony get a lot of rainwater as well. Just depends on when it's flowing into the our side. But they're just doing really, really good. A lot of the plants in the balcony are doing good. Look at that, we got the perfect holes. Ah. So we're just gonna go clean this up. Can y'all see it? I hope you guys can see. We're gonna cut off the tag. I don't really care. We actually already know these prices already. I got my little trash can, which is already kind of full. I gotta like dump it out. Gonna remove this light trend thingies because we know it's light trends. I'm actually gonna, I kind of want to leave it with this so we can climb on this. 
I, I, I realized what I didn't like about the brandy. Um, it needs something to climb on. It's not a plant that wants to vine. If it vines, it's gonna get small and small and small the leaves. They need something to climb on. Um, so that's my, oh, I didn't even disinfect the leaves. That, that's what I just don't like about it, but it's just such a pretty plant. Like if you see a brandy in real life, right? It has beautiful metallic foliage. Like honestly, it's just, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. So obsessed <laughs> with a brandy. It's just beautiful. I I need to. I, I must see. I have a lot of things I want to buy on Amazon, but that needs to be on my list. I need to get one of those plastic poles that a lot of the YouTubers are using. I need them, y'all. Like when I need it. Well, actually, I do. I have some plants that I need something to climb on, but specifically for this one, I can get a plank like a piece of wood, but. I want to try those um, plastic moss poles. I think those would be really, really nice to use. Okay, perfect. This is this plant's kind of dry too. So after doing the chores that we got to do with the plants that we just got and uh, the calathea, we're gonna go ahead and give these girlies a drink of water, which the pepperoni is moist. The hamalanea is getting bottom water it's just a brandy to be honest but yeah <laughs> that's it <laughs> this leaf has a little dot in it like it looks like fungal just gonna cut it off just to be safe that's it oh. but it, it would have been what tax like 18 bucks which is still not bad because that's how much it will be like kind of sold in a, in a local plant shop but it comes with this uh and then it, it comes with ceramics so it's not bad but yeah yeah i'm sorry i'm sorry like trans yeah, I make a lot of money, y'all are fine. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Rena took off the yellow leaves on this one. Can y'all see? Boom. I can see a little bit. But yeah, this will take like a day or maybe two days to perk back up. So I'll probably dump it out tomorrow morning when I'm getting ready for work because I work tomorrow. <laughs> yes, that I picked up overtime with my boyfriend. And I don't think I know, but we're on stand down. Stand down basically means like there's nothing wrong with the facility, so like they just make us like stand up in our stations and just wait for work. Or they'll send us to the break room, it just depends. They'll try to make you do something, but like there wasn't much that we can do. It just depends, it gets complicated, but it was a very easy day yesterday to be honest. I was basically just standing the entire time. And I was like, wow, I'm gonna get paid for this. Like this is crazy. So yeah, it was it was crazy. Um it's cause something happened in the facility. But conveyor belt ripped off so the entire thing was crazy but yeah that's it hopefully she perks back up i am pretty sure this is how hamalanes are my girly was like dead so we're well, not dead but she looked dead um but this will pounce why well, keep saying pounce what is wrong with me it's gonna bounce back really excited doesn't look promising but trust 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 the process <laughs> She's pretty. Alrighty, we're actually gonna repot the Kalitia first. No, because I think it maybe has something in it. I want to go on the mat and then on the soil. So, we're gonna do the Pepperonia. Eh. Have, I, have I been saying the name right? When I got her, she had a lot of water in here, so it might get a little bit messy. Pixie Line Pepperonia. Fun to share. Okay, we got so much going on. I'm gonna go clean my little, my little scissors. My scissors. <laughs> I need to buy. I know they sell like specific plant scissors. I just, and I, I did, you guys. I had a lot of tijeras, but they have legs. It's just me. I just don't know how to place them. Like, I was pretty good at for like a while, just having it in the plant room only, but I had to use it for something else. And I haven't had, I haven't found it. So I place it somewhere. I just don't know where. I need to buy some actual plant scissors. They sell some in Amazon, right? Like in other, even Dollar Tree had some too, but they broke. Um, but they were good though. It's basically like just they're more smaller, the the where it snaps, where it cuts, and it's really nice to get into like little crevices of the or, like deep inside the plant, and cutting with that one specific like vine or whatever. So it's very strong though. Alcohol. It smells like a hospital. 
So yeah, um, we're gonna cut off the flowers. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut it off. Even though I cut off a little bit of the plant, it's perfectly fine. It's gonna get bushy, which is kind of what I want. Um, I'm just gonna cut off any like tips that look kind of bad or uh, leaves that don't look cute, like just the entire thing. It's gonna, this, it's gonna bounce back. It's gonna bounce back. And I don't think this, this plant has root rub. Um, just a few of them, but. Okay. But yes, this is a pretty plant. Really excited that I got one. I know they sell them in the, sm in the small planters too, but this was already on clearance and I just wanted to save it. I was pretty lucky that it was a cloudy day because this was like on the full on, like there was no shade for it. As y'all saw, it was on the edge of the, um, what do you call that? I don't know what you call it. Where they put the plants at? Shelf. So, really happy. It has some bads in here. And heel. I'm excited, I'm really excited. I don't know, y'all, yeah, my carnivorous plant is still alive. Uh, I cut off two flowers because I was putting out flowers, but I, I heard like, you don't want it to do that. So I cut off two flowers two weeks ago and it's putting out another set of flower. So I need to cut that off. And it is also along putting some new traps, I guess you can say. So I'm really, really happy with that plant. I don't think I'm, I'm still like a, a comfortable. I feel like if I still get a Venus flytrap, it's gonna die. So I'm just really, really lucky with this one. I think when I got it at the plant shop, it was already um, like use of like a shelf, like home kind of environment, right? Cause when we get from the big box stores, they're like, they come from the greenhouse, they're extreme. Oh, the appropriate, the appropriate term is called acclimated. That plant shop did an amazing job at acclimating the carnivorous plants. It's doing really, really good. And it put out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eat traps. Cause the other ones are like loaded with fungus gnats. And I hope I can still catch some new ones since I ended up, you know, using uh, mosquito bits on my entire collection. Well, majority of them. It did a, a, a big hit on the fungus gnats which is really, really nice. Also, when I was getting the plant, I was looking through it to make sure that there was no pest because I learned the hard way a while back. To check the plants, you don't want to bring, like, you know. I, I don't know if you remember, I, it was like last month, I think so, or like two months ago. I got this purple passion plant from the Home Depot and I was so pretty, I was so happy. Cause I did have one a long time ago and it did, it did bloom for me and they're pretty flowers um it wasn't really good and it started to trail but we moved and it caused problems um but when i bought it home over time i started seeing these yellow things and it had aphids i don't really deal with aphids i deal with mealybugs and spider mites mostly honestly truly and um I was trying to take care of it and the rubbing alcohol does not work on the aphids. It did, did a hit, but I feel like they were still coming back from like the, the soil maybe, I don't know. So I used some Captain Jacks and it didn't really do much still. I placed it outside and then I forgot to water it within like one or two days. I plant it outside, it's gonna like dry out within like a day. It's just so hot outside and windy. Um, yeah, the reason why they're doing really good, the balcony plants as of now, is because I use the water from my dehumidifier, which I dump out every morning and every day I get out of work. Um, and then when day off, I do it like every, whenever I hear it's turning off, that's when it's time to dump it out. And that's what I used to water all of my plants. It's getting to the point that some plants are sitting in water, which I didn't really mind or care because I thought it was just gonna dry out over time. But they're like, <laughs> I just keep dumping water in all of the plants. So I might need to like, you know, probably pour out that water because I don't, I don't want my plants to get rubbed. Hold on. I don't, I don't want my plants to get rubbed. Um, so yeah, I, I, that's why they're doing really, really good right now. But 
that purple passion plant rest in peace it was beautiful this don't look bad anymore like as you can see oh she's stumping water you nasty but if someone wanted um downgrade it this is not recommended but i'm gonna do it because i like to do things that people say you can't do i'm just terco i'm nesio and yes um i just don't like the plant it <laughs> me not like you so yeah we're gonna open the baggie i got i got a new set of bag the one that's outside i'm gonna dump it out i'm sorry girl like it can go back to mother nature i don't want it i see something on it and mm -mm, i saw a bug and then when i was into the repotting if i saw that video i saw some sort of fungus and i know you can like put the soil in the oven and like it will kill a lot of the things in there but i'm not putting anything in my oven i'm not doing that me sorry like let me get messy it's because it's a big bag they do sell small bags <laughs> i was thinking like to get the small bag because it was perfect you know like it would like be so much easier to um repots but it was a little bit more expensive it was like two dollars cheaper but it was like a really small bag i was like no and then i had so many plants i got a repot i need to get a bee bag so i'm gonna put a little bit of soil in here we're gonna like disturb the roots a lot but like i said i'm gonna place it in a really good grow light it doesn't the fresh soil is gonna it's rich it's rich in nutrients it's really nice very right i'm gonna show you guys right now it looks really really good actually I just love the soil. It has perlite, it has pieces of bark. The soil is dark and it looks very rich in nutrients and it's nice and fluffy. So amazing and it's affordable. Why are you so heavy? Mm -mm. Let me show you. Really, 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 really pretty. Sorry, I'm hearing a lot of faces. It's just like, I'm so like scared with this plant. <laughs> it was loaded. Rain, is, there's so many dark clouds. It's gonna rain tomorrow for sure. But I hope it can twinkle a little bit today because like, I love rain. And I'm not gonna see rain tomorrow because I'm gonna be at work, like. Gotta put my hand, this is so like stressful. Even then, th this plant looks easy to propagate. The stems like, that just look easy. Can I just pull it out instead of me flipping it over? Hey, don't do that sound, girl. You're stressing me out. There you go. Voila. Can you see? I can barely see. I'm gonna push you guys a little bit more down. Like that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, want me? Yoga is gonna... It's whatever. We're just gonna go and tickle these roots. Yeah, it's not really, like... For the first time in Costa Farm... This looks like really nice soil. Like there's a good amount of perlite. It's nice and dark. It looks really, really good. Yeah. So I didn't really have to repot it, but I do want it in a smaller planter. That can see, I saw, I hardly see any roots. So it wasn't even like, um, what do you call it? Didn't need it to be in such a big planter. I don't want that little piece. And I want it in a smaller planter, like, <sighs> Just Nessio, okay. This is this, this is a good pieces actually. I'm actually kind of surprised. Usually, the soil looks like crap. Okay, now we're getting to the roots. So you see, it's still really good. And it fits perfect. Kind of want to reuse this. It looks really good. The bottom has rich nutrients, so the roots are going to go down, but... Because I also don't want to go in there, but... No, I'm just, I'm just going to dump this out. That was really good tierra. This, this, this soil is... looks good. It looks good. Usually, they're just loaded with, like, peat moss. Eh! Oh, my nose is itchy. Okay. The bag is over there. I should have got another plant to follow soil, so just to make it easier, but... Come on, girl. 
just love making my life difficult. Okay. Eh. Put some in the middle. <laughs> I'm only making a mess. Whenever every pot plants like this in this case, like the soil was pretty moist. Um, if it ever lands on the carpet, I learned my lesson not to vacuum it up. Let it dry out. I know it's gonna be nasty. Knowing that there's soil on the floor, but trust. You don't want no mud in your vacuum. <laughs> or it's spreading to like the carpet with the with the brushes. So I let the soil, like I'm gonna need to wait just to be safe for the just the, any soil that's in the carpet to dry out which there's not really there's, there's hardly anything but there's some of my pants and when i stand up it's gonna it's gonna get on the carpet okay she's perfect now you gotta go back Ay! i spilled some of the floor The reason why I hit it, if you don't know, is because sometimes there's like air gaps in the middle. And you kind of want it to like settle in nicely. Look, it looks so much better. So much better. Look at that. And I got it for 10 bucks. Yeah. I'm gonna need to top water it, rinse it off, and then spray it with some rubbing alcohol. Well, spray it first. Well, let me spray it right now. Spray it right now with some rubbing alcohol. Now I let it sit, I am repotting the other one, and then I'm gonna rinse it off. And then spray some neem oil. It's a preventative. They don't have no pest, but you never know. All right. <laughs> My Calatio. I'm gonna botch up right now. I think it's called a flame star. Kind of forgot what she was called. Oh, she was pretty. She was very beautiful. She could dry now. I need to see the roots. I'm so curious. Usually, Kalit doesn't have like a crazy root system like philodendrons, right? Or monsteras. Oof, those monsteras. There's always so much roots. I think it was a good day, it was success at the lows. I'm not really, the reason I'm still gonna repot it and I'm not stressing out that bad on this plant, I see a lot of new shoots coming in the middle that are nice and green, they're just thirsty. Look at all those new shoots. So, once I repot it, It should stay a lot more moist. It should last a little bit longer on its new planter. It has some old soil. See, it just has one, one hole. Voila. Let's get some soil. And then even disinfect the scissors. Oh well, it should be fine. This was our last plant anyways. If I didn't say it already, this bag of soil is from Walmart. It's, it's Expert Gardener Putty Mix. It's really good. And say, especially formulated for indoor, indoor and outdoor container plants. Which is true. I've seen a lot of good stuff out of this soil. Not sponsored. I wish so. Give me a whole truck, a workload of soil. I feel like plant people are the only people that are like, a bag of soil is like, it's good. It's a good gift. Okay. These roots are really tiny, but it is very root bound. Um, the roots are like all over. It even has a shape of uh, the planter. 
So I can, yeah, it was time to report it anyways. I'm very surprised. I, I, I've never really, I don't even want to break the roots. I'm kind of scared. They're just so tight. They're so thin. They should fight. Wait a minute. Hold on. I think I see why. I thought I saw webbing. But it's just the, the hairs from the roots. So it's fine. I know I should have done the, the planter first, like, you know, during that method, getting the ship of the planter, but I forgot. <gasps> it is raining. Well, it's starting to rain, but it's just one big dark cloud. So I love rain. <laughs> it's very relaxing. Seeing it, hearing it, and knowing that the plants are getting recharged. They're getting their good source of water. Rainwater has a little bit of fertilizer and it makes them happy. So that makes me happy. That's it. I don't want to overload it too much because when I water it, I don't want it to overspill. I'll make a mess. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and rinse these girlies. Oh, well, let me spray this one too. We don't know if they had um, spider mites. It's kind of hard to see, unless you have like a really bad infestation, you can see the spider mites, but in the webbing, webbing, but you know, if there's like a few, you can you can hardly see them. So, Okay, all right, that is basically it for today. I already gone, wow. I've already gone ahead and placed the plants on the tub, rinsed them off. I'm gonna go ahead and reuse this Captain Jack's bottle because it's empty and I'm gonna go ahead and make a mixture with neem oil in a different video. Y'all are gonna see that, but I'm gonna do this after this. And, hold on girl. Oof, I can smell it through the bottle. But it's so good for the plants though, and it makes a beautiful shine on them. It's like a protective coat. That's how I see it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, get a big thumbs up to let me know. So any positive eyes to each and every single one. And I'm gonna show you Valentino. Come on, babe. Come on. Hi. Hi. Wanna say hi? You got a big belly. You got a big belly, baby. You got a big belly. Oh, you want scratches. You like scratches, right? You saw the car? You wanna go Okay, you already said hi. Alrighty, baby. Alrighty.